<laughs> it is a little after 5 a.m. and though that might mean an early cup of coffee or tea to wake the body up, a glass of clean water, a quick shower under running water, or simply an early morning jog for some people, it is the reverse for women and girls in rural communities such as the Zabzugu district of the northern region of Ghana, where women walk several kilometers in search of water. The Uti River is the most reliable source in this community and most people journey to it for a drink, to fetch water for their homes, do the laundry and many other things. This daily activity will not only lead to diseases caused by drinking and clean water but means children will be late for school and also too tired to keep up with school work. Well, you wake up early in the morning, go to the community to form a queue, struggle to get water. The, the time you return back to the house and prepare and come to school, you will be late. In January 2017, World Vision, in partnership with Ferroville, started the mechanization and systems to multiply access to clean water in Zabzugu project in four communities with a goal of improving health and living conditions for approximately 33,304 people by 2019, the team drilled and mechanized four boreholes using solar energy and built 13 standpipes connected to the mechanized systems for ease of fetching water. These standpipes are located at easy to access points in the communities, health centers as well as in schools so children can have clean water any time of the day. The geo-terrain of some of the communities are not helpful. You drill within the, the community and you can't get water. Uh, the, the, the place that you can site the water is a little distant from the community. So uh, they still have to travel significant distance to get water. When Ferrovial came in with some additional funds, we are able to mechanize it with solar energy and pump the water to the community. They can now access water below even five minutes round trip. That is within the standard approved by WHO. These water systems are being managed by community members training the good use of safe water and systems who in turn form water and sanitation management teams to ensure the facilities are properly maintained and serve the community in the best way possible. Today over 5,000 people in Sabare, Mocheni, Tasundu and Zokoli have direct access to clean water. 55.06% of households have access to safe water sources all year round and 75.79% of children wash their hands at critical times. As impressive as this may be, the figures are not as important as seeing the relief and joy on the faces of the people. If the phrase water is life will have any real meaning, it is in communities such as these with temperatures as high as 40 degrees where staying hydrated is essential. <laughs> There are still thousands of people yet to have a taste of clean water and together we can ensure everyone, especially children, have life in all its fullness. Thank you, Fayobia. Thank you, Abisi. Thank you, Fayobia.